Okay. Oh, this might be a bit longer. <laughs> How much time you got? Oh, this is a little bit of a break from tradition because my brother should be giving the best man speech right now, but he just didn't want to. And um, yeah, I'm the wrong gender, you might have noticed, but I will do my best. I believe the best man is supposed to read out telegraphs and tell an embarrassing story about the groom. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, um, not many people may know that Dad's one of eight children which he gives Glenn and I about 36 first cousins. Um, so we have had phone calls and well wishes from a lot of the family. But most of them are a little bit older than Dad. Dad's actually like the second youngest in his family. And they're really looking forward to having some new nieces and nephews. I have tried to explain <laughs> to them. <laughs> But the um, only telegram that we did get, to, a lot of people don't realise that before rock and roll, Dad did have a few friends who were celebrities and bands, and, and <laughs> even all the way to Hollywood. And this uh, telegram we got over on the table is from Hollywood. And I'm sure Robin will take this in the spirit that it's meant, but it says, Jeff, this is your last chance. Marry me now, Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, I just sent her back a message and said, sorry, you've missed out to the better woman, Cameron. And Glenn and I really do believe that Robin is the better woman. You know, we are both incredibly happy to have Robin as our new stepmom. <laughs> um, Robin won me the very first day she met me. Um, as most people may know, um, I do some things that are a little bit different, you know, professional psychic, right on maternity magazines. And Dad said to Robin, oh, this is Shay, my weird daughter. And Robin looked at him and, he, and she went, she's a lovely person. <laughs> she had me from that moment. <laughs> I mean, apart from the fact that she's taken my father and done things with him that we never thought were possible. <laughs> of a balanced diet is to eat half junk, half food. And Robin's actually got him eating greens. <laughs> we can't believe it. And, and the, probably the biggest achievement of, of all that Robin has done is she's actually got him out of wearing socks and sandals. <laughs> tell you about dad and those sheep but nobody would believe me <laughs> so but dad and robin look the commitment that you've made today is a scary huge commitment at any age and i'll let the cat on the back my dad's 72 just turned and i i, I won't tell you how young robin is but she is the younger woman by 12 years <laughs> We were a little bit shocked when Dad said he was going to introduce us to his younger woman. As long as she's older than me, Dad, that's fine. <laughs> but I think most of us here today stand in awe of the commitment that you've made to each other. I mean, 
at, at this time in your life to make such a strong commitment again, knowing everything that it entails, because you both had experience of it. It's just amazing and inspiring. And so I'd like everybody in the room, if you've got a glass in front of you, just to lift that to Dad and Robin's commitment to two wonderful, beautiful people who really are wonderful for each other. To Dad and Robin. Thank you, Shay, for that short speech. Yeah. <laughs>